Do you regret quitting England when you're watching this now? Because arguably it would have suited the way that you play. And I know that they've got, they've got some quality back three, but you just, you threw the towel in. For family reasons, is that the reason? Marla did the same, but he's come back. Do you regret it? Um, Mate, you'd have some pictures on the back of that wall if, and some wallpaper and some different... It's not my house, mate. It's a sink's house, mate. It shakes when... You might see the thing you shake when a bus comes past, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I Do I regret it? And obviously, when I see them play, I'm like, I'd love to be there. But there is so much involved, mate. No. It's not like when you're in your day, mate, when you were playing just try and pretend to bring down the mall and then out midweek the and, then out, and then out midweek and then Saturday win, lose or draw. My well, it's gone. It's like the training is, training is harder than games, without doubt, harder than games. And enjoyable or not? And It's enjoyable because they've got a good group of lads who've been there for a bit of time. They all know each other. But it's a long, it's a big commitment to be away from your family for a long time. You don't see them because they're so committed to doing what they're doing. And as soon as the game was over, it was like, bang, Sunday, we are now planning for the week after. You got like an hour to see. Because there was a long, a while, a family was up in the north and stuff. It was just, Melissa was due and oh, it's just a, such a, it's so professional, mate. It's such a big commitment. I was like, I can't, I had a couple of injuries. So I was like, I can't, there's no way I'll be able to get through it. But yeah, I miss it, mate. I miss it. I do miss uh, you just miss those kind of games and that environment of being around the best players all the time and just learning. You're constantly learning and seeing what's at the front. I mean, it's like with someone that with uh, Owen Farrell, you and him uh, obviously hate each other. You never saw eye to eye. Does, does he hate me? <laughs> does he hate me or not? Does he hate me or not? <laughs> he probably does now. Now I've just him in the media. I just said it no. how it was, mate. He, the thing with me and Faz, I've always said it, he hated me. And I hated him because he hated me because he thought I was shit. He hated me because he thought I was shit at rugby. I don't know how you can put that on a man. I was 34. I was absolutely ball bagged by the end of it. That is exactly what it is. You just weren't good enough in his mind to be in his team. Oh, he used to fling the ball in training straight off the head. I was like, what is going on there? Hey, you laugh though. Look at us now. Look at Para. Petrus Duplessis coaching the Aussie scrum. Who would have thought, eh? Who would have thought it? Fair play to him. Fair play to him. No, no. 